The tug is the drug, for sure. <laughs> Reeled that bad boy in. Hey guys, we're out here on the uh, Brewster Pool fishing for uh, sockeye salmon. Got the crew on board and we're just starting trolling for the morning. So, uh, we'll see what we can get. That weighed all the way to the rock. Did you see? Good job. Oh, I just got my first sockeye. He's so cute. Yeah, that rod with your foot off. What we're using today to target these sockeye, just using a little slider for our weights, using about four to eight ounces, going to a six bead to our bumper. The bumper for your Dodger needs to be at least 30 to 36 inches and then that will go right to uh, any style Dodger you prefer. I like all silver, seems to attract them you know, just as well as anything else. And then from there you want a short leader, about 9 to 12 inches, 20 pound mono, to uh, pretty much just something bright that will get their attention. So you're wanting to do a smile blade, some tinsel, you know, anything that will flash down there behind your Dodger seems to work well. And you're just tipping it with coon shrimp, just a tail or a whole coon shrimp will work. And then you send that down and try to fish the top of the water column. And that's what we've been doing for our success today. We'll drop it down and see if we can get another one. take off, spend a couple years in the ocean, and then they decide to come back up to the very pebbles that they were born on, which they're all trying to shoot up the Okanagan River right here in Brewster, Washington. And so they make the long, and it's like a 375 mile journey, maybe more up here, just to get back to where they're trying to spawn. And they're really just holding out right here until the water temperature gets right. And then uh, once it gets to about 70 degrees, they'll try to pump back up and find their, their actual spawning grounds up the Okanagan River. And they'll do the deed and continue the cycle. This uh, fishery has been getting better and better each year, and with the numbers continually growing, we should see it you know, getting better for years to come. Right now we have like 660,000 that return to the river, and then some of those disperse off to other systems. So we're fishing on probably about 400,000 sockeye, you know, about. They've been getting caught, but that's what's returning back to this system. Hanging with Tyler Miller, <laughs> having a great day. My nose is good, and I'm smelling McDonald's. It looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> I totally smell it, yep. It smells like it. Is there such thing as boat dash? It smells good. Yeah, yeah where's yeah. boat dash when we need it? Catch fish on turns, or if you're just catching them when you're speeding up a little bit to get around boats and you're hooking them, maybe try going a little faster. Some days they want the action, either that dodger snapping or just barely flopping. Trolling, I like to be the slower boat, but it's just one of those things you always gotta play with. It's never the same every day, so. Just like that, finished up with our 24, 846. And that was actually a little bit of slower of a day, so. Even on the slow days, you still get a lot of action out here at Brewster, so it makes it fun for family and kids and everything. And uh, we'll catch you when we're filleting them. It's been a great day fishing with these guys, and they're super sad because I caught most of these fish, <laughs> especially the biggest ones, so sorry. Yep. That's how she rolls. <laughs> All right, so going over fillet in a sockeye, it's just like any other salmon, but just a little smaller. You want to start right behind the gill plate, going down to the backbone. Once you get to that backbone, you want to turn your knife to go flat up against it. And just follow that backbone all the way down with a little bit of downward pressure like this so your knife flexes. You don't want to angle it into the meat. You just want to press down and flex. Good, nice slice across that backbone. 
and you'll have a piece like that. We'll take the ribs off, but first do it again on the other side, right behind the gill plate. Turning that knife against the backbone, just following it along. Toss that out. And you want to take the ribs off as well. What you're going to do is just start right at the top end of them, bringing your knife just shallowly against them. Same type of deal, you don't want to be pressing into the meat, you almost want to be pressing against the backbone, keeping your knife shallow and just running right across them. Do that a couple times. And there's a good filet ready to eat. And there's the other filet ready to go with the belly still on there. You can throw it on the grill and cook it in like 10 minutes. Yeah. I really like to, you know, cook it however, bake it or on the barbecue and then pull it all apart, make salmon patties out of it. That seems to be a little change of pace for salmon wise. And yeah, I really like it that way. Yeah. All right guys, we're back at the launch. Um, got the fish all bagged up, filleted, got some happy clients leaving. Make sure to check out 360 Sportsman on YouTube, like, subscribe, um, do all that. Check me out at www.fishmillertime.com. We fish all over the Northwest, so if you're looking for a trip, go ahead and check that out, and I'll see you on the next one. Going a lot slower.